Dog here, and this lesson is on multiplying by 10. This is one of my favorite lessons. There's all kinds of great strategies to multiply by 10s. I'll show you lots of them in this lesson. So here's our common core strand. We're going to use place value and understanding to perform multi-digit arithmetic. There should be a period there, not a, not a uh, backslash there. So our essential question is how can we use strategies to multiply by 10s? Okay. All right, let's access some prior knowledge here. 7 times 30 here, you guys. You can think of one way to think of this is uh, 30 as uh, 3 tens. So uh, we can do 7 times 3 tens. So here's three uh, longs right here. So seven of these, seven groups of these. If I did uh, uh, seven of those, uh, it would get me that right there. So there is 7 uh, times 3 tens. So how many tens is that? There's 21 tens. And if we counted all those up, there would be 21. 7 times 3 is 21. So 21 tens gives us how much? It gives us 210. Okay? So what I like to do, you guys, is do 7 times 3 is 21 and add how many zeros right there. So 21 with a zero right there. Okay? So uh, let's continue using that strategy with 6 times 400 and 8 times uh, 5,000. So 6 times uh, 4 is 24. And then if I add two zeros, I get 2,400. Okay? So there's my uh, 6 times 4 is this 24. And then there's the two zeros right there. 8 times 5 is 40, and then the, uh, carry the three zeros, so it's 40,000 right there, all right? All right, remember this, uh, this was from uh, Lesson 1-5, I believe, so um, I used the place value chart to rename the following numbers, okay? So 670 equals how many tens? So if we go down here in the place value chart and put in 670 right there, so 670 right there, equals that many tens right there. It ends right there. There are 67 tens right there, okay? So how many tens are 670? There's 67 tens in there, okay? What about 43 um, uh, with three zeros? Well, it's right here, 43,000 right here. If we put in the 40 three and the three zeros right here, then it's going to be uh, 43,000 right there. So here's my 43, and it ends in the thousand spot right there. So 43,000. Remember doing that? Okay, 304 tens. Okay, 304 tens is going to be 34 tens right there. 300 um, and four tens. Here's my four tens right here. 304 tens is 34 tens. All right. And then 57,000 is just 57,000 right there. Okay, nice and easy. All right. So how about this, you guys? Model 230 using the flats and the longs. Do you remember doing that? So 230, there would be two flats and three longs right there. Remember, a flat is 100. Here's another 100. And then here's three longs right here. So what is another name for 230? We can call it 200s and three tens. Okay, or 23 tens. All right, remember doing that? Um, uh, so if we regroup the 20 flats as 20 longs, okay, remember, here's 20 flats as, t as uh, I'm sorry, the two flats right here. These two flats is 20 longs, and then we're going to have these three longs right here. So there's my 20 longs right there plus the three longs right there, okay? So what's our model show us right there? How many longs is that? There's 23 longs in there, or 23 tens, okay? Let's try some of this uh, with the tens and stuff here. So Alexis bought 20 packs of baseball cards, and each pack there are 30 cards. So how many cards did Alexis buy? Okay, so uh, we're going to multiply 20 times 30, and one way we're going to do this is use place value. Okay, so we can think of this 30 right here as 3 tens. So 20 times 30 is the same as 20 times how many tens? Times 3 tens right there. So what we can do is then um, multiply 20 times 3 is 60, so we're going to get 60 tens right there, and 60 tens is going to be 600, okay? So remember, tens is with another zero right there, so it's 60 with another zero, or 600, so 20 times 30 is 600, okay? Uh, another way is to use the associative property, and you're thinking, whoa, 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 what's the associative property? Well, the associative property, it just states that we can group numbers in different ways to get the same product. So here's a really good example. 6 times 2 times 5 is the exact same same uh, answer if we did 6 times and then we did 2 times 5 first. 
Well, it's easy to do 2 times 5 is 10, and then so we have 6 times 10. 6 times 10 is 60. And if we did 6 times 2 first, which is 12, 12 times 5 is, uh, is also 60, you guys. But it's easier to see if I multiply these two guys first and get 10, and then 6 times that is 60. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, so we can think of uh, 30 as 3 times 10, and then so when we're multiplying 20 times 30, it becomes 20 times 3 times 10. Okay, and then we can use the associative property over here and do 20 times 3. I'm just tr showing you different strategies, you guys. Different strategies to get to the same answer. So if you get stuck with one, you can always use a different strategy. Okay, and I think your teacher will let you do whatever strategy is working best. And then if the book asks you to do one way, then, then try and do it that way. You just get better and better and better and stronger. Okay, so 20 times uh, 3 times 10 becomes 20 times 3 and then times 10 by the associative property. Instead of grouping these two together, Together. We're going to group the 20 and the 3 together. And 20 times 3 is still 60, and so 60 times uh, 60 times 10 is 600, okay? So let's answer the question, you guys. Alexis has 600 baseball cards, okay? Pretty cool, huh? Here's another way. Um, uh, and we're going to do a different um, um, uh, problem here, but we're going to do the halving and doubling strategy. So we're going to try and uh, use mental math to find 14 times 40. So one way is to do this, you guys, is to take uh, half of 14. Well, half of 14 is 7, and then it'll make it simpler. So we do 7 times 40. Okay, so half of 14 is 7, and then 7 times 40 is uh, 7 times 4 is 28 with a 0. Okay, 7 times 40 would be 28 with a 0. And then that's half of that, so now we just double that answer. So 2 times 280 is 560. Okay, so what we did was, is we did... Uh, uh, and you can do this. You can take half of this number if you want, which is 20, and then do 14 times 20. 14 times 2 is 280, and then double that is 560. Okay, or take half of this number, which what we did here is 7, and then we did 7 times 40 is uh, 280. 7 times 4 is 28, so with a 0, and then double that answer because we took half of it, so we double it and get 560. Okay, if we took half of 40 is 20. 14 times 2 is 28, so 28 with a 0 would be 280, then double it would get you 560. So this is called the having, then doubling strategy. You have it and then double it, okay? Let's just do some mental math here uh, to uh, find uh, 12 times 50, and then we'll uh, uh, use place value to find 12 times 50 also, okay? So let's think of uh, uh, 12 as 10 times 2, and then so if we do... Um, uh, 10 times 50 is 500, and then do 2 times 50 is 100, and since uh, 12 is 10 plus 2, then uh, 12 times 50 would be 500 plus 100, because we did we did 10 times 5 times 50, and we did 2 times 50, and then so here's my 10 plus 2, so if I add these two answers here, 500 plus 100 is 600. Okay, so that's kind of cool. We just uh, we we broke it down a little bit. Twenty or twelve is ten plus two, so ten plus, uh, times five hundred or times fifty. Sorry, and then two times fifty. Sorry, I'm getting a little tongue twisted. I'm going so fast. I'm so excited on this. It's fun. <laughs> Okay, and then here, uh, you guys, um, uh, we can make 12 times 50 is 12 times 5 tens, okay? And 12 times 5 is 60, so we get 60 tens or 600, okay? Multiply by tens is great. That's one of my favorite things uh, when I'm doing multiplication, you guys. All right, take care, you guys.